So when you're just getting started with Active Campaign, it might be a little bit confusing when you use campaigns and when you use automations and what actually the difference between the two is. So in this tutorial, I will explain what both are, I will explain the differences, and I will also explain when I would use campaigns and when I would use automations. So let's just dive right in. So over here, you see the campaigns overview. So over here, you see that I have five campaigns. And what a campaign basically is, is like a one-off, one-time email that you can send out to your your whole email list or a part of your email list. But then over here you see they have some campaigns and then also that all these campaigns have a different type. And I think this is maybe what is confusing people a little bit about campaigns. So over here you see that they have a newsletter and this newsletter is a standard regular one-time email campaign. And then over here you see that we for example also have an autoresponder campaign and this is an automated campaign that you can send out after somebody is for example subscribing to your email list or you can also say I want to send this campaign seven days after someone subscribed to an email list. Now then we have split testing this is my personal favorite and this is basically a standard regular one-time email that you can send out to your email list but then you can for example compare subject lines to see which one is performing better, which one is getting the most email opens. Really cool stuff. Then we have RSS triggered, and this is handy if you automatically wanna send out a campaign whenever you post, for example, a new article to your blog or your website. And then we have date based, and this allows you to send out a campaign, for example, whenever it's someone's birthday. But if you want, I also created a whole tutorial about each of these types, and I will post that in the description below this video. But so right now, let me explain here the standard one. So then if you click here next, then we go to the list page and this is basically who you would wanna send the campaign to. So what you can do is you can just select a list and then we'll just send to everyone on that list. So in this case, you see that it's 10 people on the main list. But what you can also do is you can also segment the selected lists. And that basically means that you can send it to everyone on the list that matches one or multiple conditions. So for example, what I did over here is I created a segment called not currently following free email course. And then if I click here edit, then you can also see the conditions for that segment. So then you see there's only one condition and then here it says not currently in automation free email course. So this allows me to send out my, for example, newsletter to everyone on the main list but not to people who are currently following my free email course, right? Pretty cool stuff, but you can also use it for lots of other things. Maybe you wanna send out a campaign uh, with like a product update to like people that purchased a certain uh, product or people you wanna send out an email that are interested in like a certain thing, something like that. And then if we go over here to next, then we go to the design and yeah, this is basically where you just create and write your email. Then we go to next and then we go to the summary of the campaign. And then over here you have all the standard stuff like the, the subject, the from information. Uh, then over here the lists that it will be sent to. So here you see main list with the segment not currently following free email course. And that is currently a total of 10 contacts. And then over here you have some options. And then this is really important over here. So if you leave here under schedule this to off and you click here send now, then it will be sent out to everyone right now. But if you toggle this to on, then you can also say over here, I wanna send it out next week, next month, or maybe on a specific date, let's say the 1st of October at 10 a.m. And then if I click now finish, then this newsletter will be scheduled for the 1st of October at 10 a.m. And that's basically what a campaign is. So it's like a one-off email that you can send out. You can send it out right away or you can schedule it. But then you also have these different ones. So for example, I can show you one more. Over here I have this you're in welcome email. And this is like an autoresponder type campaign. You can see that over here, autoresponder. And then if I go over here to summary, then you see over here under autoresponder that it says send to new contacts immediately. So then this campaign will be immediately sent out to everyone on my main list. So pretty cool, right? So that's campaigns. Let me now show you automations because I think automations, that's where the real power inside Active Campaign is. So over here, you see the automations overview. You can find it in this little gear icon with the arrow around it. And then you see all the automations that I currently have, or at least you see 10 of them. And what an automation basically is, or what it allows you to do, it allows you to send out a series of emails completely automatically. So let me show you an example. So here I have my onboarding automation. 
So this automation starts when a contact subscribes to the main list and has not entered automation onboarding new contacts. So whenever somebody is subscribing to my main list and they have never entered this automation before, because maybe they have unsubscribed in the past or resubscribed again, then this automation is going to start. Then we wait for five minutes and then we check with a condition if the contact has been sent any campaign in the past yet. If yes, we go to another action and then we basically skip this welcome email over here. If not, then we send the welcome email. And then over here you see why automations are so cool. So you, can, you can wait for 36 hours and then you can say, okay, now I wanna wait until the current time in the context time zone is 10 a.m. and then I wanna send out this email. Then we're going to wait for 36 hours again. And then we wanna wait until the current time in the context time zone is 10 a.m. and then we send out this email. Then we wait again and we send out this email. Then we wait for two days. And then we have another if else, which again allows you to split the automation based on the condition. And in this condition, we check if the contact has entered the automation evergreen newsletter. If they have entered the evergreen newsletter automation, then it follows the yes path and then we end this automation and nothing else happens. If they have not entered the evergreen newsletter yet, then we follow the no path. And then over here we have an action that says enter the automation evergreen newsletter. So then that will throw them into the evergreen newsletter and then this automation will end. So then we finish the onboarding and then the evergreen newsletter is going to start. So then instead of maybe having campaigns that you like write, like a newsletter that you write and then send out every week, you could also pre-write basically your whole newsletter and then have a certain order in which they will be sent to to new subscribers so that whenever somebody is subscribing to your email list, they, for example, don't miss out on all the campaigns or email newsletters that you have sent out in the past. So then uh, the contact after the onboarding would go in here, right? We wait for two days, then we wait until it is, it is Tuesday, 10 a.m. in the context time zone, and then we send the week one newsletter. Then we wait for one day, then we wait until the current day is Tuesday and the current time is 10 a.m. again in the context time zone and then we send week two. Now then we wait basically for another week and then we send out week three. Then we wait for another week and then we send out week four. Then we send out week five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on and so on. So you can basically pre-write your whole newsletter. Really cool stuff. So this is also one of the differences between campaigns and an automation, right? So with a campaign, you basically write your campaigns, you send them out, and with an automation, you automate all of your emails or most of your emails. And you can use this really for so many different things. I, for example, also created this uh, free email course. So then people, after they sign up for the free email course on maybe the website, then they get an email that says like, hey, you're in, and then it's just like, hey, in lesson one, we're going to talk about this, and lesson two, we're going to talk about this, and then, uh, over here, we send lesson one, then we wait for a day until 10 a.m. the next day, and then we send lesson two, we send lesson three, we send lesson four, we send lesson five, and so on. So basically, the difference between campaigns and automations, I hope it's quite clear. So campaigns is basically super handy if you wanna send out like one off emails. So for example, for a newsletter, but if you want, you can also use it for sending like some kind of like welcome campaign. But personally, and as my opinion, I like to use automations for something like that. So instead of having this campaign over here that says you're in, welcome, and then have here the autoresponder type, I personally like to use an automation for that because then instead of just having one welcome email, I can already say, hey, I wanna send out this email, but then after 36 hours and then till it's 10 a.m. I wanna send out this email and then I wanna send out this email and this email. And then depending on if there are an Evergreen newsletter or not, I wanna start that. Then the Evergreen newsletter is going to start and so on and so on. So then automations just allow you to basically pre-create all of your emails. So from the moment that they opt in, they get like onboarding, then maybe you invite them for a free email course. Then after the free email course, maybe you throw them into some kind of evergreen newsletter and until the moment that they become a customer. And then when they become a customer, you could maybe start a separate automation for that and then maybe try to upsell something else. Really, really cool stuff. So if you wanna learn more about this, then over here, I have a tutorial about campaigns and I'll also explain a little bit more about all the different types 
types and all the settings that you have. And then also down here, you find a whole tutorial about automations and all the things that you can do with automations. Because what I've shown you so far is really just the tip of the iceberg. And if you have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments below.